Hey there, great news. Your introduction video and experience have earned your trial class. Nice work. Now, the good, or depending on how you feel about tech, interesting news, is that you'll be using Carson. But don't stress, we've got you covered. Here's what you need to know before your trial. If it's your first time using Classin, you want to get familiar with the basics. There's a link in the description that will walk you through everything step by step. Ready a Classin Pro? Awesome. Just make sure to double check these two things before your trial. First, make sure you know how to access your drive files. Some schools will send you materials for you to upload, while others have shared drive files with everything ready to go. Second, run a quick systems check. Make sure your mic, camera, and internet are all working smoothly. Once that's done, you're good to go. Just pick a date and book the trial class. You've got this. Right, so it's the day of your trial class. Be sure to enter the class at least three to five minutes before the class starts. This way, you'll have enough time to check that your camera, microphone, and all of your content is working correctly. Upon entering the class, you'll see a prompt letting you know that the class will be recorded. Click OK, and you'll see that the prompt has now moved to the top of the screen. When the student enters the class and you're ready to begin teaching, click the record button. During this time, you're welcome to have your camera and microphone off. It's a great time for you to prepare all of the contents that you'll be using for the class. Even if the student enters the class during this time, you don't have to turn the camera on or microphone and interact with the student. You can wait for the countdown timer to get to zero and for the class to begin. Once you've selected all the content for the class, now it's time for you to make sure that your classroom layout settings are correct. Go to the top of the screen, click on the four squares at the top, select classroom layout and choose the best layout for you. Finally, you can go back to your settings, select classroom background, and you can choose a beautiful background for your students to see as they enter the classroom. Awesome, so now everything has been set. All that's left to do is to wait for your students to enter the classroom and begin teaching. Good luck with your trial class.